Hey, Chef Des coming at you. These are my top accessories for my new pit barrel cooker. So if you haven't seen it yet, I've done an unboxing video. I'll link it right here and also below. And you can check out when I unbox my new pit barrel cooker, which is right here. This is gonna be fantastic. I'm also gonna be doing another video on my first cook, which will be linked below. So make sure you check that out as well. When you open your pit barrel cooker, the setup is so simple. You'll see that in the unboxing video, but I wanted to make sure that I get the full experience. So I ordered some accessories that I thought were going to be incredibly good to use with my new pit barrel cooker. Let me show you what those are. What comes in the box, you get this already when you have your pit barrel. You get your all purpose pit rub and your beef and game pit rub. You also come with a meat hook tool. So you use this to get the meat hooks off the hanging rods that comes with the pit barrel so these i already had when i unboxed that the first accessory which i think is really important is this attachable ash pan so this attaches to the bottom of the charcoal basket that's inside i'll show you and it makes it really easy because it helps contain the ash and you can just take it out dump it out it's a lot easier than trying to scoop it out from the bottom of the barrel it will also help protect the bottom of the barrel too because the hot ashes aren't going right on the bottom of the barrel they'll fall on this pan instead let's open this up and have a look wow that looks like high grade stainless steel. Here we go. I mean, it's very easy to figure out, but also it comes with these instructions as well. So I'm just gonna take that off. My meat hooks and the hanging rods. The cooking grid. And we'll pull out the charcoal basket. So it's really simple. I mean, you have these feet on the bottom of the charcoal basket and you have these notches. So you're just going to line up the feet with the notches and Okay, see this? I just wanna show you this. And you're just gonna slide it counterclockwise, rotate it, and until all the feet are caught under that charcoal basket. It's really that simple. And you just lower that back in, just like this. The next accessory that I got is really cool. So here it is here. What this is, is your hinged grill grates. This allows you to cook like a barbecue at the same time when you're hanging meat on the other side. So you do your veggies on one side, your ribs on the other, or whatever you're hanging. Let me show you how this works. This is ideal so you can get the full use of your pit barrel cooker at the same time when you're hanging meat, doing anything else that you need to lay on a grate. So all we would do is position it where we'd want to hang the meat from, from one rod and rest it on those notches. And then we can take one of our rebar and and that allows you to do meat hanging on one side. Like I say, you got your ribs, you got your chicken, you're grilling your vegetables, your potatoes on this side. Maybe you want to do a steak as well as whatever you're hanging. This is a great accessory to do just that. The next accessory I got is a chimney starter. So I'm a big green egg guy and I mean, you can use a chimney starter and a big green egg. I never have, so I've never tried one before. So I'm excited to have this give it a try. But what you do is once you fill that charcoal basket, you take some of the charcoal, you put it in here, and then on the grate, you would just get a chunk of natural starter. You know, some people use wax cubes or whatever. Put it on there, light it, have your chimney starter filled with charcoal, put that on there and let it sit there for about 15, 20 minutes just to get all the coals going. And then you would take that and then dump that in with the rest of your charcoal just to get the fire going really quickly. So I'm really excited about trying one of these out. The next accessory I got is the turkey hanger. So yeah, if you wanna do a whole turkey, I mean, any bird that you wanna hang from here, that's a little bit larger. Maybe it's a large chicken, maybe you got a goose. This is ideal because you can hook it on the turkey and have it hooked on the middle of the two hanging rods. So right in the center of your pit barrel cooker. All right, let's give this a try. Take that one meat hanger out, take out our hinge grate put the two meat hangers back in. And then the turkey hanger is two pieces, okay? Really simple to figure out. Put this through the loop, okay? This goes in, so imagine you put your bird right on there and you would hang it just like so, right in the middle of your fire. And you could hold a huge bird on there. I mean, with the volume you have in this barrel is incredible. And it shows you right on the back there, sorry for any glare, exactly how to do it. I mean, you could add two birds in there at the same time if you got another turkey hanger. So I think that's a great accessory to get. The next accessory I got, I'm really excited about because again, it's gonna make this pit barrel cooker very versatile is the hanger value pack. So inside here, it has these different hangers where you can you know, put corn on the cob, sausages, fill it with potatoes and hang those from your hanging rods. Let's dive into this. I believe you can buy all these individually, but I thought, you know, why bother? Let's just buy the whole value pack. You get this 
That looks like a sausage and hot dog hanger. All right, so it has two pieces, very easy for cleanup. Uh, you would just notch this one in like so, and then you slide this piece down to lock it in place. And that will allow you to now take it. Let's get rid of our turkey hanger here for a second. Allow you now to take it with those dogs and hang it right in your pit barrel. And there's two notches. One, I guess, if you need wider sausages, or you could notch it here if you have smaller dogs or sausages. And hang it right in there. All right, so that's the one. Here's a larger one for corn on the cob. I guess you could do really large uh, sausages or something in there too, if you wanted to. But again, it's notched on actually a few different levels that you could just set it for however big, whatever you're putting in there is. See that on the bottom? We're just notching it in there like that. And then you close it up, you slide that bit over top and you can take that and now hang that in your pit barrel. And then you have a basket hanger. So. I mean, the world's your oyster with this. Whatever you want to do with this, you just open it up, fill it with whatever you whatever you like, any small pieces, vegetables, potatoes. Maybe you're doing uh, clams, mussels, I mean, any kind of small seafood, like prawns, whatever, and you hang that on your meat hanger as well. Great value pack. I'm really getting some good use out of those. I even got the pit barrel pit grips. Whenever you're handling hot stuff and you just want it very easy. I don't like to use oven mitts because I don't like not having the dexterity of having my fingers. So gloves like these are amazing. And with the silicone grips on there, I mean, you're not gonna get burned. It's a great accessory to have and it goes perfect with your pit barrel cooker, right? And last but definitely not least is my custom fitted cover. Anytime you spend money on anything, you wanna protect it, protect your investment. As I mentioned before in my previous video when I was unboxing this, it's a very minimal investment to get competition style barbecue right in your own backyard, but make sure you protect it no matter how small or large your investment is. I got a cover for my big green egg. Obviously I'm gonna get a cover to protect it from the elements for my pit barrel cooker. Let's get it out of here. Fold here, let's have a look at this. How uh, cool, has the logo right on it. I thought it was just on the package. Oh, and I like this, check this out. It's elastic at the bottom. So it's gonna wrap right around the bottom of that. That's gonna be awesome. Let's put the lid on. I'm just gonna slide this over top. There you have it folks, my top accessories for my new pit barrel cooker. Very excited to get cooking on this. Don't forget to check out my first cook video, link below. And also more importantly, don't forget to subscribe as we're gonna bring you lots of great videos with my new toy. It's gonna be awesome. Looking forward to it and I'll see you next time.